Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to add uh, the fractions and whole numbers. So first of all, um, what we're going to do in this, we'll combine 1, 6, and 3. So what I'm going to do is I'll write this together, uh, 3 plus 1, 6. Let's simplify this first and let's see what do we get. So I'm adding this and this. So I'm adding this fraction to the whole number. Now, if you remember mixed numbers, why do we call them mixed numbers? Mixed numbers are composed of a whole number and a fraction because they have a whole number in it and they have a fraction and that's why they're called mixed fractions. So here I have three plus one six. If I need to combine the whole number and the fraction, I, I will get the mixed fraction. So I'm gonna get three plus one six will be equal to three one six, right? So you combine the fraction, you combine the fraction with the whole number and get the mixed fraction. So I got 316. I'm going to replace 1 6 plus 3 with 316. So I'm going to write here 3 8 plus, and then we'll write 3 1 6. Now, since this is in fraction, we need to convert this into fraction as well. So what I'm going to do is I'll convert this mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So um, how do we convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction? We multiply the denominator with the whole number. So I'm going to multiply the denominator with the whole number, 3 times 6. That will give me 18. Now I'm going to take my 18 and add it to the numerator. So 18 plus 1 will be 19. So my new numerator is 19. And then I have a 6 in the denominator, which will remain as it is. So this is how you convert a mixed fraction into improper fraction. You multiply the denominator with the whole part and then you add it to the numerator and you get the fraction. So I got 19 over 6. I'm going to replace 316 with 19 over 6. So we're going to write 3 8 plus 3 8 plus 19 over 6. Now we need to add the fractions, right? We need to add the fractions. When we add the fractions, remember that we need the denominators to be the same. Since our denominators are different and 6 and 8 are not the multiples of each other, so what we're going to do is we need to multiply both the fractions with something to get the denominator equal. So what I'm going to do is I'll multiply each fraction with the other fraction's denominator. Now I'm going to multiply this fraction with this fraction's denominator. So here the denominator is 6. So I'm going to multiply 3 eighths with 6 over 6. 6 over 6. And then I'm going to multiply 19 over 6 with the other fraction's denominator. Now, the other fraction denominator is 8. So I'm going to multiply 19 over 6 with 8 over 8. So what we did is we multiplied each fraction with the other fraction's denominator to get the same denominators. Now, what we're going to do is we'll multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So 6 times 3 will be 18. And 6 times 8 is going to be 48 plus 19 times 8 uh, will be 152, and 6 times 8 will be 48. Now you see that the denominators are equal. I can go ahead and multiply, uh, I, sorry, I can go ahead and add the numerator. So 152 plus 18 will be 170, and then we never add or subtract the denominator, so the denominator will be 48. So I got 170 over 48. Now we can reduce this fraction. There are two ways. Um, two different ways to write the answer. Either we can write this in the mixed fraction or we can just write this into an improper fraction. So if we write if we write this in a fraction, we need to reduce it into the lowest term. So I'm gonna write here 170 divided by 48. Now what do I, what, 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 I need to find a number which is divisible by both 170 and 48. I know that they both are divisible by two, so I'm gonna divide them by two. Now, it's important that you do this. Um, if you're dividing the numerator by 2, you have to divide the denominator by 2. The same concept we used here. Why did we multiply this by 6 over 6? Because we just need the denominators to be equal. Then why did we multiply the numerators? And it's important that we do the same operation in the numerator and denominator so that we don't change the value of the fraction. Because here, when you multiply this by 6 over 6, basically you multiply that by 1. And when you multiply 1 by 3 over 3 eighths, you're not changing the value of 3 eighths. It's still 3 eighths, right? So that's why here also we're going to divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. Now let's do that. 170 divided by 2, and that's going to be uh, 2 times 8 is 16, and then 2 times 5 is 10. So I got 85. When you divide 170 with 2, you will get 85. You can do that on a separate piece of paper. When you divide 48, uh, 48 divided by 2 is going to be uh, 24. So 85 divided by 24, and I think that we cannot reduce it anymore because 85 and 24, they are not divisible by the same number. So this is going to be our final answer. If you need to write your answer in the fraction, 
that 85 over 24 will be your final answer. But if you need to write the answer in the mixed fraction, you can convert that into mixed fraction by dividing it. So we're going to divide 85 with 24. And how many times 24 goes into 85? I think three times. So 24 times 3 is going to be 72. And then you can go ahead and subtract it. 5 minus 2 is 3. 8 minus 7 is 1. Since the remainder is less than the divisor, we can stop here. And we are going to write our answer in the mixed fraction. Now, the way you write is you write your quotient first. So you have to write 3 first. You write your quotient first. Then you're going to write your remainder. Now, your remainder becomes your numerator. So you're going to write your numerator on top. And then you have to write the denominator. You're going to write the de denominator will be your divisor. So the way you write is you write your quotient first, then you write your remainder. Your remainder becomes your numerator and your divisor becomes your denominator. So this is the way you write and we cannot reduce 13 over 24. So that's going to be fi your final answer. So if your teacher needs you to write the answer in, in the fraction form, you can write 85 over 24. But we, we usually don't write the answer in the uh, improper fraction. When your numerator is greater than denominator, you usually convert that into the mixed fraction. So we can write this as or, or 3, 13 over 24. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.